let's take the next question in continuation a pump can fill a tank with water in two hours because of a leak it took two one by three hours to fill the tank the leak can drain all the water of the tank in you have a pump and you have a leakage in the question how much time does the pump take two hours to fill in completely how about leakage this is what is being asked the leak can drain all the water of the tank in so you can take that the leak takes the leak takes x hours to drain all the water of the tank now in one hour in one hour what is the work done by the pump the pump fills in half of the tank and the leak the leak leaks out 1 by x what is the total work done by when both of them are present half minus 1 by x this is the total work done by the pump and the leak when both of them are working together also there is another data which is 1 by 3 hours or which is also equal to 7 by 3 hours so when both pump and leak are functional they take 7 by 3 hours to fill the tank entirely if they take 7 by 3 hours to fill the tank entirely in 1 hour the total work done will be 3 upon 7 so we get 3 upon 7 as the net work done in 1 hour when both of them are functional we also have another expression 1 by 2 minus 1 by x for the same quantity so we can equate both of them half minus 3 by 7 equal to 1 by x this will be 14 1 upon 14 x is 14 that means 14 hours is the time taken by the leak to drain all the water of the tank completely option d there could be another method which you can use and that is suppose that there is no leak at all suppose that there is no leak at all now pipe or sorry the pump can fill the tank completely in two hours now if there is no leakage and the pump works for two one by three hours that means it is working for one by three hours extra it is working for 1 by 3 hours extra. How much water will it try to put into the tank? In 2 hours, complete tank is full. So in 1 hour, 1 by 2, half of the tank. In 1 by 3 hours, 1 by 2 into 1 by 3, which is 1 by 6. So in 1 by 3 hours, one sixth of the tank the water volume which is equal to one sixth of the entire tank will be pumped in by this pipe or the pump now where will this water go this water will overflow because we are assuming now that there is no leakage but the real scenario is there is a leakage and there is no overflow that means this entirely one-sixth volume of water is being leaked out by the leakage in how many hours? 2 1 by 3 hours. In 2 1 by 3 hours, one-sixth of the tank is being leaked out. So to completely drain out the tank, you need to multiply 6 with 2 1 by 3 hours. 6 into 7 by 3 which is 14 hours so in 14 hours 
the leak can drain all the water water completely from the tank i hope you understand the second method where we assume that suppose there is no leakage thus the pipe works for 1 by 3 hours extra in 1 by 3 hours the pipe pours in 1 by 6th of the volume of the tank but the real scenario is there is no overflowing so this 1/6 of the tank this 1/6 of the volume of the tank is actually being leaked out by the leakage in the entire duration of 2 1 by 3 hours if 2 1 by 3 hours is the time taken by the leakage to drain the water completely that means to completely expel water from a fully filled tank it will take 6 into 2 1 by 3 which is 14 hours to drain let us take the next question two taps a and b can fill a tank in 5 hours and 20 hours respectively if both the taps are open then due to a leakage it took 30 minutes more to fill the tank if the tank is full how long will it take for the leakage alone to empty the tank last question had one pump and one leakage but in this scenario you have two taps tap a and b along with that you have a leakage this question and the last question would be same you can in fact replace these two taps uh with a pump and how can you do that you can use the shortcut of a into b by a plus b which we have already discussed in the sessions now 5 into 20 are the two figures 5 into 20 divided by 5 plus 20 you see 100 upon 25 and this is 4 hours so you can replace the the taps a and b with a pump which has the ability to fill in the tank completely in 4 hours however there is a leakage present and it takes 30 minutes extra it takes 30 minutes extra to fill the tank completely we have to find out how much time will that leakage alone take to empty the tank now in 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 4 hours the entire tank the entire tank can be filled in therefore in 1 hour 1/4 fourth of the tank can be filled in that means in 30 minutes or half an hour 1 by 8th portion of the tank can be filled in now this 1 by 8th portion of the uh, extra work that is being done by the pump is what is being leaked out by the leakage alone so you can say that in 4 and 1/2 hours the leakage can expel 1/8th of the volume of the tank so to expel, expel the tank completely you need to multiply this volume 4.5 with 8 4.5 hours multiplied by 8 which will give you 32 plus 4 36 36 hours to leak the tank completely if you find this method uh, difficult what you can do is you can uh, assume that the leakage alone will take x hours to expel the tank completely in that case you will have two figures first figure you got as 4 4 hours when you replace the taps that were filling in with this rate you got only one figure 4 and the other as x let x be the time that the leakage alone takes to empty the tank so in in 1 hour the pump the pump can do how much 1 by 4 and how about leakage leakage will do 1 by x now leakage does the negative work so in 1 hour completely the pump and the leakage do this much also this is this can be equated to 1 by 4.5 what do you mean by that we mean that when pump and leakage both are working 
it takes 4.5 watts to completely fill the tank. That means in 1 hour, 1 upon 4.5 or you can also write 2 upon 9. 2 upon 9 is the work done by pump and the leakage in 1 hour. This 1 by 4 minus 1 by x is nothing but 2 upon 9. From here, you can take 1 by x as 1 by 4 minus 2 upon 9. This is 36. 9 minus 8. 1 upon 36. You get the x value as 36 hours. That means the leakage takes 36 hours to drain the tank completely. Which is option D. And it is same as the first answer that we got by the first method.